outside than it is inside today. <laughs> Uh, I can't agree or disagree with you on that, Laura, but I am jacketless right now. Uh, tomorrow I will have the raincoat or maybe you're going to be going heading out. You're going to need an umbrella. But by the time we get to Monday morning, you're definitely going to be needing at least some kind of snow brush, uh, maybe a shovel, depending on where you live. Let's get over to the weather alert map first. We'll talk about what's going on here in upstate New York. Lots of colors, lots of texts, I know. Uh, first, we'll talk about the rain impacts for Sunday. Look at the lower right-hand part of your screen, the green counties like Broome, Shenango, Otsego County. That's majority of that is outside of our immediate CNY central viewing area, but there could be some rainfall between, say, uh, 1 p.m. and maybe around the evening time here tomorrow where there could be some spots south and east of Syracuse. Oh, half inch, three quarters of an inch, an inch or more rainfall locally there. The rest of us not seeing flooding concerns. The National Weather Service has issued some winter storm watches here for counties east of Lake Ontario, like Oswego, Jefferson, Lewis, also Oneida County and Massa County, also underneath this flood watch here, Shenango County, also under the winter storm watch. When? Well, it's Sunday evening through Monday evening here for anticipated snowfall. Not for everyone. And I do want to take some time tonight and kind of illustrate and describe to you why I'm forecasting what I'm forecasting. Here is our weather timeline with impactful or semi impactful weather. All right, Sunday, yeah, rain moderate, briefly heavy. There could be some downpours, maybe even a rumble of thunder at some part of the morning. Sunday night, high wind gusts will be 30 to 40 miles per hour. Not the worst of winds, but certainly gusty and the rain mixing with wet snow overnight and into early Monday morning. Now, it's not a definite thing where Monday morning travel will be the worst ever in our history here in central New York or the best ever. It's somewhere in between. Very wet, slushy roads, especially here in Syracuse, but higher impacts elsewhere. Here are my limitations on snowfall before we get to a snowfall forecast map. Number one, there's going to be lots and lots of melting of the snow. The past few days through today, you know, we've been 50 degrees or warmer. The roads and the ground are actually warmer than usual. So that's going to be helping with the melting of any wet snow hitting the surface of the ground and the roads. Number two, compaction. This is going to be wet, big, chunky flakes flying around and the water content will squish themselves down before they're measured. Lastly, elevation playing a major, major role here. Anyone living under 1,200 feet, like the area of Syracuse and Northern Ontario County, expect wet, slushy roads for the most part. If you live over 1,200 feet up in elevation, like the hill towns, expect snowier roads there. Here is my snowfall forecast after seeing rain on Sunday. This is from 7 p.m. Sunday through 7 a.m. Monday. Look at the gray, including Syracuse, a trace to an inch or two. Doesn't sound like a lot, right? Because it's not a lot. In the aqua shading, the hills south, two inches or more, maybe upwards of six. And then the Tug Hill, same thing in the location south and east of Syracuse in the blue, maybe seeing six inches or more. So really not a major snowstorm at all with this event. Of course, you always got the latest information, county by county snow maps right there on your phone with our CNY Central mobile news app. It's also on cnycentral.com. Here's your forecast, rain for Sunday, 55, then falling. And then we, of course, got some 30s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and back up quieter weather later in the week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, looking good. All right, you can brighten the holiday for a child in need.